Sophie, Avery, Lindsay all did rowing and I got close to them in seventh grade and they just told me I should come out and try it. And I was like, okay, I have no idea what it is, but I came to my first practice and we went out on the water and I actually learned like what rowing was and I just stayed in it because I wanted to stay with them and I wanted to learn more about it and I just never let it go. Yeah, I just came with a pancake paddle and I liked it, so I stuck to it. So I kind of want to push myself out of my own comfort zone and do something physical. I just didn't realize that rowing was that physical. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know rowing existed. I was like, honestly, that's so cool. And I went and I fell in love with it. I thought it would be good for me to get out and exercise and make friends. My mom kind of forced me to get into it. So as soon as I get uh, got into the sport, like, I saw Terry and I met him and we just kind of like became like two little buds and I just ever since kept rowing. I had some extra time and I've always wanted to rowing. I've always seen the rowing team and I've known a lot of people that did it so I thought might as well give it a try. I decided to join the team in middle school and I've stuck with it ever since. I feel like I've accomplished many things. Um, I want to thank the Sora family so much for getting me here because they taught me so many things. I'm just really thankful. Honestly, it's a bit surreal. Cause like, like going into rowing, like I knew that it was gonna be something that I was gonna like really love, but I didn't realize how much I was gonna love it and miss like high school rowing. It's weird to do something for like five years and then every event you go to being like, wow, this is the last of that event. And now I'm not coming back. And it's just those moments that go from like knowing that the people you do this with are truly some of like the most incredible people in your life to also like the most hardworking teammates you could ever ask for. Here in Sora, I learned that you can rely on someone always and you know that you can believe in yourself and you can always be a part of a huge team that loves you. Every time I'd want to stop because it'd get hard, I'd think in my head, I don't want to stop in life. So I keep going and it's the biggest thing that rowing has done for me. You can make friends with anybody regardless of race, religion, color, whatever it may be, whatever the thought process may be, it doesn't matter if you friends with anybody. You shouldn't judge anybody just because of what they look like. So that's what I got to know. I feel like I've learned that nothing comes easy. There's been so many days here where I've just wanted to die. Like, it's so hard. But at the end, like, there's results. And, like, it just shows me that, like, Everything in life takes some work, it takes practice, but you will eventually get there. Even when you mess up pretty much every practice, just continue to learn and continue to grow. Sora is always going to be there to support you, and you get what you put in. You're not really going to get anything until you work hard at it. And you're going to especially need to work hard at it. You have to be your biggest supporter and motivator, like 100%. Of course, like, it's nice to have people that are going to be there with you and, like, support you and, like, push you. If you motivate yourself and you support yourself, you know, you're not going to be dependent on other people to do so. I feel like I gained a lot from growing through Sora and from all of this. Like, I wouldn't be the person I am now if I hadn't been forced to do this when I was 14, 13. I have always loved going to states, so each state has been fun in its own way and just racing there. I mean, we stink and ate once, so that was quite fun and scary at the same time. It was sinking, right? And Jeremy stands up to look to make sure everyone's okay, and he just falls right out. <laughs> he stands up and he's like, ah! he falls out. It was sort of my first travel regatta, and it was the first moment that we actually, we actually got a bronze medal, and it's the first moment, moment I really felt like part of the team. I was carried for pretty much the whole race, but it was nice being a part of the team and accomplishing something as a group. My favorite memory would probably be all of the trips, whether it was Sarasota, going into the big tower, or going to Tennessee for hooch, and just seeing all of the boats go down. It's always just gonna be a wonderful memory to look back on. Our experience, just because it was such an adjustment in the atmosphere I've never felt before. And at the same time, seeing everyone support everyone during the races was just something incredible I've never seen before. I did like the last trip on the earth and I like, I look up at the screen and it says that I was under eight and I just like, I was like, yes! And like, I just like threw it down, finally paid off, you know, like I did it, like I made it. So that was like my best memory. Definitely rowing with the entire team in the eight, just cause it's all our, our friends like together. I was in a double with Sophie and we were right by Bird Island and the boat just 
went sideways and I refused to fall in so I held onto the rigger like a koala and I was there for a good three minutes and then I just let it take me. <laughs> we beat the other girls by like 0.23 seconds and then got our first championship and it was like one of the best feelings in the world. I wish I would not do track and field instead and just do rowing but I opened up to a completely new experience, to something I never experienced before, and I feel grateful and joyful that I did it. It's kind of sad, just knowing that it's all coming to an end, at least for high school. I really enjoyed spending time with everyone and working towards getting better as a team. It's been a privilege and a pleasure to row with everyone, and I'm always going to be grateful for that. Relax. Enjoy it. This should be fun. This is a fun thing we do. Find like what you truly love about what you do and work towards that because that's where the best self-improvement is going to come from. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how hard it feels, don't give up. That's exactly what rowing has taught me. Ergs especially have taught me. Just don't give up. It's going to be hard to say goodbye, but it'll be fun to look back and think about everything. Keep going following their dreams and I'm sure every, all of them are going to do great things in life. This is my family. It was my sister's family, my family, so I guess I'm just, I'm not really losing them. I think this is what pushed me to become a better version of myself at the end of the year. Thank you. Do what makes you happy, no matter what it is, and have a good life. <laughs> You might mess up, or you might not be the best at this time. You can always improve, and there's always something to work on. We put in so much work here, and it's always worth it in the end. So keep working hard at whatever you're passionate about. Bye. There's nothing that can stop you if you just keep your eye on the prize and just keep pushing yourself to go forward. Good luck on whatever your life endeavor is, and if you have a dream, don't quit. Never flip at the dock and always believe in yourself. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>